Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got Tesla ROM for Galaxy S3 version 2.3 beta so stay tuned for that So guys, this, this time I've got a very very interesting ROM it's called a Tesla ROM from team validus who gave us uh, validus roms and stuff like that and i have actually reviewed their rom and i really really like their work because it's one of the best roms you can get for any device because i have already tried that uh, their similar rom the tesla rom for nexus 5 and it's really cool so let's get started now first of all what you would see here is the lock screen which is simple it is normal so i'm not going to, to get too much into that so let's get started in the settings panel you can see there are a lot of options in here and it is tesla rom so you can have that there's also a ota updater here which will check for it but uh last version is not unknown and i'm not really sure why that is so it is there so it's cool status options all of that is available you can see it is android 5.1.1 which is the latest version of android for our device so you can have that uh it is a tesla high voltage 2.3 uh this is the release date and it's uh, it's been some time but this is a really really great one it is running cm sources and it works so about this rom again um this is kind of like bliss pop in my opinion because it does have a uh, that sort of a goal of mix and matching everything uh, in other ROMs and taking it up to this device and that's really really cool so let's get into the settings now and this does have a lot of extras now first things first it has a separate menu called Tesla coil where all the extra settings reside so let's get into that first now first thing is quick settings in the quick settings panel you can see uh, you can actually change the uh, tiles and order you have a lot of tiles which is not overwhelming but still still useful uh, amount of tiles you have that you have compass kernel auditor from the quick setting panel all of that is available you can have all of these working so it's really nice so yeah and large first two row show uh, four tile per row that's also something which i really appreciate because i use that a lot uh, show brightness diary if you are using the slide to uh, change the brightness of the status bar you can actually disable the slider in the quick setting panel which i personally do because i get more real estate for my tiles so that's really nice you also have qs general like uh, qs pull down qs uh, uh, quick setting pull down from left or right smart pull down if there is a, a notification or not custom header images which is pretty cool you can see the header image is custom and it does change according to the time of the day so that is really nice show weather in the notification panel all of that is available status bar option in the status bar option you can see clock and date options are available you can actually change everything you can even change the clock fun style which uh, is becoming a rarity in some of them i like condensed fun because of that it looks better i guess battery status style you can actually change to dotted circle icon landscape icon portrait all of that is available you can change that battery percentage inside the icon outside the icon is also available tesla logo on the status bar so you can see the tesla logo is now available in the status bar which is really cool uh carrier label battery bar option it does have battery bar you can actually enable that uh, the top sides bottom all of that notification trigger brightness control by sliding across the status bar is also available so you can actually use that double tap to sleep network traffic breathing notification is something which i really liked because it does give you a lot of stuff so that's really nice and again i'm I am okay if any developer is listening to me please remove this broadcaster cell broadcaster app because it's nothing but a well scam uh, Twitter whatever it is right now so it's really really unuseful it's really annoying so yeah navigation bar option you could you can actually enable disable the uh, hardware buttons and enable the uh, custom navigation button so that's also available so you can this is this will be now be disabled so you can have that overflow buttons uh, you can actually bind each and every hardware button to custom keys so that you can actually put customize everything there uh, navigation bar you can enable navigation bar and double tap that to sleep also that is something which i use every time in my nexus 5 that is really cool show arrows while typing arrows will come up in the navigation bar whenever you're typing that's also a very, very really useful feature navigation rings slim dim is also a really cool feature it will dim the navigation bar lights uh, after some time as you have just say, seen so it does work out 
Slim Pie is something available which I really appreciate. Slim Pie is a really useful feature and uh, it can give you a lot of speed in state. If you use this one, uh, I would suggest you use this Slim Pie rather than that one because it, it it makes more sense, I guess. So it does work out and really nice. Global menu is the power button menu. You can actually add a lot of stuff here like all of these. Lock now, screen recorder even and a custom app even to the global menu which is this one. So that's really nice. Animation control. In the animation control window, you can actually change everything regarding this uh, device. So that uh, like toast animation, you can actually change that. List view animation, system animation, you can change everything from uh, window opening to closing to everything. So and also you have toast icon, which will give you a icon of the app which launched the toast. So you can understand from where the toast is coming from. So that's really nice. Recent app panel. In the recent app panel, you can actually change uh, it to the recent app panel. Normal one is like this one which is the USB one you can actually change it to slim style so it will be on the side you can actually have a lot of options for this one I have actually used this and I found it to be useful but personally for me it's nothing special but I really like it you can actually have a uh, stone the left edge rather than the right edge show topmost task also uh, panel color uh, sidebar also you can enable and that is really really cool you can have that so that's really nice so in this talk recent panel you can actually have shake to clear which is really cool I mean it's more of a gimmick and I'm not really sure how many people will be using that to clear your tasks but it is there and it does work so that's cool and all so yeah something i noticed about uh clear clear all recent button location in uh in tesla roms even in in my s3 and also in the nexus uh, is that uh the clear all button when you go for the aosp style one the clear all button interferes with your navigation bar which is not a very cool thing i mean come on i cannot press this button without pressing the navigation button and that's not how it should be and in the nexus 5 that is really really weird and i will be making a video about the for the nexus 5 so i'll talk more about that later here it's not a much big deal if you are going to use the navigation bar that may be a big deal so yeah i think that's a bug but it's there so yeah app circle bar sidebar is also available you can actually enable app sidebar and have uh, well this is a circle bar rather than a sidebar so you can have important apps there and it does work out so it's screen recorder settings now it does have a built-in uh, screen recorder so you can actually change the settings of it you can actually select the resolution and the bit rate which does make a lot of uh, changes to your uh, way of recording uh, lower bit rate is faster so yeah System app remover. Now this is something which I really appreciate. Uh, the thing about the cell broadcaster not removed. You can actually remove it yourself if you are confident that that is the thing. Again, this thing can break your device and break uh, how you use your device. So be careful with it. It is good. It is good for people who know what they're doing. But as uh, normally, normally how it is. If you know what you're doing, you probably will have titanium backup and you can just use titanium backup for that. So, yeah. That is it in the Tesla coil settings. Let's go to Kernel Auditor, which is an app, which is a third party app you can use to uh, change various stuff like CPU usage. You can actually disable cores and keep it running only on one core. But again, it will ramp up and down depending on the use case scenario. If you are using a lot of stuff, then it will enable those cores to get the power required. So, yeah. In the lock screen setting, you have a few options like uh, shortcuts, lock screen shortcuts, which are the uh, custom shortcuts on the in the middle of the screen, which you can long press or double tap to launch, which is really nice if you are using that. Weather options now: long press uh, lock icon to sleep, which is also available there. So it's pretty cool. Double tap to sleep is also there. Weather icon, weather options in the lock screen also is really really nice display options has a light a live view display live display which is really cool i mean it is good for your eyes and stuff like that so i'm not really going to, to talk too much about that uh, ambient display is there and it is working so i really like that gestures now in the gesture setting you have three finger gesture to take a screenshot which will work which does work so you just took a screenshot there so it is available fun sizes i like it small and you can actually change that volume rocker to wake wake up on charge all the options are available now all of these are available in your other lollipop roms i'm not going to get too much into that so it is there it does have super zoo in build so i didn't really have to um, 
flash a super suit script so it does work so that is up it in the settings menu uh let me show you guys the boot animation which is a really really cool it is a shutdown animation also really cool plasma ball nice There is the boot animation which was awesome, I mean, <laughs> it's electric, right? Now let's get into the apps with which it comes, so you can see uh, it does come with uh, all the important ones like messenger and camera and all that uh, and to the benchmark is something which I had to install. It comes with a proprietary search which is a replacement for uh, Google search or it's the old version of Google search so it is there. And rest of them are normal CM stuff, so I'm not going to get too much into that. Let's get into the Antutu benchmark score, which is pretty cool. I really like that one. So guys there you have it that is the score which I received for this ROM on this device that is 25,500 which is not at all a bad score it is uh, slightly I mean I would say it's a normal score for a lollipop ROM so considering all the features and the stuff with this ROM packs it's really really good score so yeah. Now that is it in the ROM so uh, in the conclusion I would like to say about the battery life. now. Being a very feature rich ROM, battery is going to be affected. So that is nothing which you can do about. But you can see it's not a very bad scenario either. You can see that uh, the phone was having a bit of a drain here when uh, I was doing nothing. But still there, there are wake clock issues. But as I've said, this does have a lot of features working in the background so it's going to have a bit of drain whether you like it or not so it's just there now in the ROM uh, again I would like to talk about it because this does give you uh, a little bit of touches of here and there I mean I really, really like a few touches like uh, all the okay if you don't have any recent recent uh, recent applications clicking the recent panel will give you this icon Tesla project so that is something cool and also if you have something what will you what you get is uh, the cards they have sort of a uh, sort of a curved corners which is really cool I mean these are the little stuff which uh, makes a few people happy well I I am really happy with all this detail so it's really cool so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM and the conclusion this is a ROM with a lot of features maybe not as much as Bliss Pop or Temasics but it does have a lot of features and this is from a, uh, a community uh, Valdez project and they do care about the their users and they do they will give out support if you go to their forum so that's really really cool so I guess I'm interested about the ROM I hope you guys like the video please share, subscribe and like the video if you find it useful see you guys next time bye